Question 22. The diagram shows a pattern in the shape of a rectangle. The pattern is 3.6 metres long and 3 metres wide. Um, Matthew is going to cover the pattern in paving slabs. Each paving slab is a square of 60 centimetres. So let's just draw that out so we have an idea. Uh, it's going to be something like that. This is square and we're told it's 60 centimetres. Okay. So it's going to be 60 centimetres, which is 0 0.6 metres. So that's 0 0.6 and that's going to be 0 0.6. Okay. Matthew buys 32 of the paving slabs. Does Matthew buy enough to cover the patio? You must show all your working. Well, how many does he need to cover the height here? Um, if he had 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6, that'd be 1.2, plus another 0.6 would be 1.8, plus another 0.6 would be 2.4, plus another 0.6 would be equal to 3 metres. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He needs 5 slabs for the width, which is 3 metres. Okay, and the question is how many does he need across? Well, clearly this is 3 metres here. Okay, so he needs the 5 slabs across as well, plus another one. So he needs 7 slabs uh, sorry, six slabs even. Six slabs for the length. Therefore, needs six across and five up, so he needs 30 slabs overall. And the question is, does he buy enough? Yes, he has two spare if he buys 32, and we're done. Okay, so then we are told that each slab is eight pound 63, work out the cost of 32 slabs. I'm gonna show you all the different ways of doing this multiplication, starting with the lattice method. So eight pound 63, I'm gonna write that up here, eight pounds 63. And I'm gonna write down the side, we're gonna multiply that by 32, three and two. I'm going to draw ourselves a grid. Like that. Try and make them level, sort of like that. Okay, then what you do is you draw little lines down. It takes a little bit of setting up, but the beauty of this method is it's actually quite easy once everything's set up. So what you do then is you say three times three is nine. So that's zero and nine. You say two times three is six, zero and six. Three times six is 18, but the one here and the eight here. 3 times 8 is 24, put the 2 here and the 4 here. 2 times 6 is 12, put the 1 here and the 2 here. And 2 times 8 is 16, put the 1 here and the two and the 6 there, sorry. Now you add up along each of the uh, diagonals. So you're going to add that up there and you're going to get yourself 6. Then you're going to add this up here and 2 and 0 and 9 is 11. So you're going to put down 1 and you're going to carry 1 over into the next column. Then you're going to say 1 and 0 is 1, add 8 is 9, add 1 is 10, add 6 is 16. Put down the 6, carry that 1. 1 and 1 is uh, 2, add uh, 4 is 6, add 1 is 7. And you've got just a 2 here on its own. Now also the beauty of this method is it deals with the decimal point for you. Um, Let me show you how. I'm just going to, the decimal point, I should have written it there. There's a, after 32, there's a hidden decimal point. And what you do is you draw a line along here and along here where the two decimal points would meet. And that is now where your new decimal point goes. So your new decimal point goes there. And the answer is 276 pounds and 16 pence. As follows. So that's how you could do it for three marks. I'll just show you the other ways. Instead of eight, 
pound 63 times 32, you could think of it as 800, you could think of it as 863 and adjust at the end. So 863 multiplied by 30 and 2, you set up a grid, a grid multiplication method and you just multiply out and add up. 3 times 8 is 24 and you've got three zeros, 1, 2, 3. 3 times 6 is 18, you've got two zeros, 1, 2. 3 times 3 is 9, and you've got that 0. 2 times 8 is 16, and you've got two zeros. 2 times 6 is 12, and you've got a 0. And 3 times 2 is 6. Now what you've got to do is add them up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is there a, a quick way of adding these up? Well, no, let's add them up downwards. So these two add up to 96. These two add up to 1920, and these two add up to 25,600. And now we've got to add these up. Well, I'm going to combine these two in my head first. I'm going to think of that as adding on 80 to make 2,000, and then the extra 16. Uh, so that would be 2,016, add 25,600. So if I add these two, it would equal 27,000. Uh, 616 which converts to because I made the answer 100 times bigger at the start I'll make it 100 times smaller at the end it'd be £276.17 I'll show you is um, a bit of number sense really um, I want to work out £8.63 and I want to multiply it by 32 Okay, what I could do is I could say to myself, well, actually, let's work out £8.63. Let's multiply it by 30. Let's get 30 of these, and then we're going to add on 2 times £8.63, like that. Or I'll write the other around just to make it clearer. Um, uh, £8.63 times 2. Now, how do we work this out here? Well, what we could do is we could, uh, as a side working, we could say, well, what is £8.63 times 10? Well, that's £86.30. So £8.63 times 30, which is 3 times 10, must be 3 times this. So it'd be 3 times £86.30. Now, 3 times 80 is 240. 3 times £6 is £18. And 3 times 30 pence is equal to... 90 pence. So this would be equal to 258 pounds and 90 pence. So this bit would be 258 pounds and 90 pence. Now we've got to add two of these. Well, two eights is 16, two 60ps is one pound 20, and two 3ps is six. So we're going to have two times eight, which is 16 pounds. Then we're going to have two times 20 is one pound, two times six is one pound 20, and two times 3p is an 6p, so adding these together is going to be £17.26, uh, and lastly we're going to try and add these two together. So let's add on the 26, firstly add on 10p to get 259, and then add on 16, so it would be £259.16, and then we've still got to add on the 17, so we've got to add on the 17, that's like adding 20 and taking off 3. So if you add on 20 to that, it would be 279, but then take off the 3, 276.16. Now, for some of you, that might be quite complicated. I just thought I'd show it to you as a method of checking, or some of you might think in that way and it might help you.